Dear folks, I have a terrible news to share. Um, the Queen of England, um, of Great Britain, Elizabeth II, is dead. She passed away since yesterday. As you know, I was shocked when I heard about that. I didn't expect that she would immediately pass away too early. Well, that kind of person who were healthy. Even if I understand her husband, Charles, who died um, last year. I didn't expect that Queen Elizabeth was supposed to die. For me, it was really early. As you know, Elizabeth the second was born since April 21, 1926. Uh, the person who actually have sit in the kingdom, in the monarch, so long. She is a very kind, uh, a kind royal with a lot of kindness. She have always been the nicest among everyone through even her daughter were that kind of kind person even if both of them were different in very spectrum but all I saying is this is nothing I all I saying is that she was the kindest person as I have followed since I was a kid. Fine, okay, it sounds maybe stupid because am I living in England? Well, not exactly. I have never put my foot in London before, even if I wish I could, but I can say this, I have been around the world, well not exactly everywhere, but a few places of course, that's the only thing I can say. And perhaps I will be prepared by telling where exactly I live. But not for now. However, this is about Elisa, Elizabeth, who died since yesterday, 8th September, as you know. She is actually sitting in the royal for over 70 Anything was beginning in 6 February 1952 until 8 September 2022. The day she came in was in West. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm sorry, 
I'm too sad to just doing it, but I was thinking maybe you're willing to hear it anyway. I didn't expect anything at all. For me, Elizabeth was more than just a queen. She was more like a symbol for me as I could follow or that kind of person who had the kindness. She was never a snob. <coughs> Which it doesn't matter if she is or not. But the point is, her kindness and generosity and the way she was listening to her people. She even tried to guide each and anyone and even tell about that COVID-19, the time the COVID-19 was in. True, we had some people who were ignorant to just do whatever they want, even in pandemic. As I can remember from the past, No, but I didn't expect this one. Oh yeah, I say it again. I'm sorry, but I feel so sad. So yeah. As you know, sometimes None of us were actually thinking that could ever happen immediately, especially with someone who were healthy. True, she was old, but that doesn't matter. That kind of person who were born, that person who rode, that person who continue working every day, day in, day out. She was never lazy. Her generosity to the country and the world, of course, that she were visiting, helping People even donate many things to each and any country. She was never egoist, not even a single slice. I mean, you can think about a person. I mean, okay, it maybe sounds similar to Diana who died since in the 90s, as I can remember. Even if both of them were different, but the thing is, the only thing who was similar to both of them was both had this kind of kindness and the generosity and there were many things. Okay, I can't be specific with what exactly she have done, but I can tell you at least that she have donated a lot of money to help even poor people. Not only in England, everywhere, on the other hand. Okay. She couldn't do maybe something about to stop a war exactly, but um, now I ain't going to say exactly everything except to tell you something right now, but I'm going to go deeper later.
I know I should have actually going with other things as I have mentioned to my own to my own clips as I have wrote about. I didn't expect anything. I'm well, okay. I'm too sad. I'm too sad. I didn't expect that something like that would ever happen. Okay, okay. Maybe I overreacting, but that's the thing. It kind of remind about my own father. True, he was sick, but he didn't die because of his infection. No, he died of something else, as no one could explain. Not even the doctors could explain his death. Even of an agnostic, I used to always fear that God maybe will jump on me one day, which I don't know. I still blaming myself for my father's death, which I didn't expect, even if I could be really sad about and I s well okay normally a person would accept someone's death all I know exactly was my father's last word never cry true okay I didn't cry except I cried in a funeral I did I didn't expect that, but yeah. <sighs> so you maybe wonder who is Elizabeth II? I can give you something. Elizabeth was born in Mayfair, London. As the first child of the Duke and Duchess, Duchess, sorry, Duchess, I'm sorry, uh, Duke and Duchess of York, later King George the, the Sixth, and Queen Elizabeth the First, as you remember. Her father accepted to the throne in 1936 upon the abdication of his brother, King Edward VIII, making Elizabeth the her the her I mean the her pre person presentive. Sorry, I. I'm too sad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, she was educated privately at home and began to undertake public uh, duties during the second, the second World War, serving in the auxiliary uh -huh, auxiliary um territorial service sorry i couldn't pronounce it really good in november 1947 she was married she was married to philip mountbatten a former prince of greece and denmark And their marriage lasted 73 years until his death in April 2021, last year, as you remember. Hmm. They had four children, Charles III, and a princess royal. Uh, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and 
Prince Edward, Earl of uh, Wessex. When her father died in February 1952, Elizabeth, then uh, 25 years old, became queen, regimenting seven independent Commonwealth. Uh, Commonwealth countries, the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Pakistan, and Ceylon, known today as Sri Lanka, as well as heard of the Commonwealth, Elizabeth. Bring it as a constitution monarch. Touch major political change such as the troubles in Northern Ireland, devolution in the United Kingdom, the decolonization of Africa and the United Kingdom a se <coughs> a session of European communities and withdrawal from the European Union. The number of her realms varied over time as territories have uh, gained independence and some realms have become republics. Her many historic visit and meeting include state visiting China in 1986, Russia in 1994, the Republic of Ireland in 2011 and visit a few popes. Significant events include Elizabeth's coronation, oh coronation, sorry, in 1953 and the celebration of her silver golden diamond and platinum jewels in 1977 2002 2012 and 2022 respectively elizabeth was the longest Lived and long regaining British monarch and the second longest very fabled re reigning uh, sover sovereign mo uh, I'm sorry guys uh, uh, everybody sorry I mean both guys and girls yeah whoever listened to me as you know, I can't pronounce anything great now. I'm too unfocused and too sad. So yeah, I'm sorry. And for you who maybe think that is too ridiculous that I cry for Queen. Well, you maybe doesn't care about that. Well, how about this? If a se if a celeb Greater, I don't know, an artist maybe would die. Would you cry or not? It's up to you. But I guess that you would cry maybe. For you maybe have favorites everywhere. Kind of remind me about the incident with Michael Jackson when he died 2009. The same year as my father died. Everybody started to cry. As I can remember. 
Uh, which reminds me also the time that Donald J. Trump were losing the presidential to Joe Biden. Even if he never died, everybody was still crying like it was some kind of life and death scene, kind of. I don't know why. I mean, again, I have nothing to say about Donald J. Trump. No. But one thing for sure. We're talking about Elizabeth II who died. The Queen of Britain. The one I love at least. <sighs> the one I pay respect to. Because she's the first role model of, how should I say, how, uh, I don't know what to call it anymore since I am on focus. She was kind of like a rebel in this case, as you know. Sometimes when it comes to a ruler, that person could be really snobby on many things. Pointing on many things too. And yeah, you maybe get. Except everything changed maybe in 1900 when people start to realize. For example, we say the royal people were more kind. In the years it went, there were nothing they have to argue or whatever. Instead, we were there for their people, not like those early king and royals who literally was ignorant, who literally did whatever they wanted and put every people in danger for their own actions. There was the early royals, but royals today is the opposite of the early royals. So yeah, that's the thing as I have in my mind. All right, I continue. Um, where was I? Uh, Ah, oh, Elizabeth was the longest living and longest re regining British monarch in the second longest veri verification reigning severe monarch in world history. Only behind Louis the the 14th of France. She faced Occasional Republican uh, sentiment and media criticism of her family, particularly after the breakdown of her children's marriage. Her Anna's Harry Bills in 1992 and the death of her former daughter in law. Diana, Prince of Wales, uh, Diana, Prince of Wales, in 1997. However, support of the monarchy in the United Kingdom remained considerably high, as as did her personal popularity. Elizabeth died in 8 September 2022 at. Balmoral Castle. Aberdeen sire, she was succeeded by her eldest son, Charles the Third. 
Uh, as you know, when it comes to the royal, it's not like you can do whatever you want exactly. And since I know Elizabeth, that she would never hurt any fly or whatever. But here is the thing. She was only following when it comes to her principal duty to the country. Meaning, you are there for the people, yes. That was her own will. But when it came to other things, even if she would maybe criticize with something she never will size with, when it comes to something who seems to be wrong, of course she wants to lay a finger, but sometimes there is rules for it, that you have to be quiet when it comes to it. Even if we know that sometimes it's not the king's or queen's uh, authority to take that kind of matter. We say for an example, when it comes to equal rights, of course she can tell, yes, no problem with that, but that's up to the Premier Minister today. Well, the, it, let us say it was so strange over the years who actually have been gone and I know there have been many ministers in the party who have tried at least to talk sense to the government in order to make sure that each and any people should be treated equally. For me she was an equalist. But as you know, sometimes, well, I don't know exactly who giving advice exactly by telling her to maybe back off, kind of. I mean, for example, the way you have to behave in the uh, royal palace or the castle kind of for example you can't be a rug rat but you have to be more sensitive kind of like a snob as i remember it's nothing wrong to be a snob but it's just that way that you have to use your attitude the smallest thing in the world, perhaps that maybe annoyed her once when it comes to that kind of behavior. That was maybe the only way she maybe rebelled against because she wanted to at least be there for her people. Even when it came to teenagers, she was still supportive. She never talked back to them, kind of. She was literally the one who listening whatever they said. She had no problem with rock and roll music, whatever kind of music each and anyone loved. Even if we know that some people may have a nose to lay a finger by saying, well, that's wrong, because they listen to a music we doesn't know exactly. Kind of like America had in the past. Even if we know that was in the early time, but I think in the 70s and 80s, people started to accept that kind of music because there was nothing to fight of. It was different from America when you could complain about music being sent from the devil and blah, blah, blah. All this shit. As you may be here for some times. Yeah, that kind of. But again, as Elizabeth would maybe say, I'm not in control when it comes to music. It's up to each and anyone to just listen to that they want to listen. And what maybe fits me, 
That's up to me. Nothing more. I remember it was a TV show that she maybe talked about what could be uh, that she maybe could just put her foot down and sometimes not. But be, be more honest. Okay, here's another thing as I maybe will come up to. As you remember when uh, Prince Charles, wait, was it Prince Charles? I don't remember. Uh, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I was thinking about Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, as you remember. Um, the time when he maybe were um, married to... Uh, what was his wife's name? Uh, as you remember, uh, Prince Harry were married with Meghan Markle, the actress in America, as you remember. And they lived in, um, in, in, uh, was it in the castle in uh, London, as you remember? Oh yes, of course. It kind of same scenario as you remember how Elizabeth, who were born in royal, how her life was from beginning. Well, okay, she was married with um, with Prince Charles, as you remember, back in her days. Uh, Philip, sorry. Prince Philip, sorry, forgive me. Uh, yeah, I don't know if what if that was her own choice, but I know exactly one thing, of course. She have tried at least to be on her own size. She was kind of, well, not exactly like a rebel but could sometimes put down the foot when somebody just wanted to be telling her to just be an elegant person, kind of. But that was maybe ridiculous for her by hearing it. Even if she accepted whatever each and every one was telling her to be, it was maybe different from her own uh, daughter-in-law, Diana, who were an activist man, who literally, well, she was keep hearing from other royals as well as much she hearing from the staff members, kind of. Especially when it comes to the advisors, just telling her to be whatever she wants, uh, be specific if, I'm, if I may say it, like a real royal. I mean... Isn't that the same scenario as uh, uh, Elizabeth had tried to tell the the staff member, the the advisors, to stop telling her how she how she should behave, kind of the smallest thing, kind of it could be irritable, of course, which Diana also faced, it, which is also sometimes really hard. But as you know, when it comes to both of them, is it something they are similar is when they support the people. Even if I maybe understand that Elizabeth maybe wasn't an activist, but she was acting like an activist. When it came to somebody's aid, that was the time she was putting her foot by saying, I ain't going to allow somebody die just because I have to pay attention to a simple rule. What is a kingdom if we can't have our people, kind of, or other people as well? So yeah, 
there is something I can remember from the past as I can remember from that time when I saw it myself from a doc old documentary. Even if I understand when it comes to Princess Diana, that was just kind of sim similar. Even if, uh, what was her name again? Elizabeth tried to tell Diana about that. It wasn't like she forcing her into it, no. She was only telling how it works in it. But yet, as you know, media have to always telling the thing, you know, the snitchers who literally saying a lot, but they have no actual truth about Queen Elizabeth, who still support Diana's wish and thinking. This was only talk, nothing more. Whatever those other royalists have, uh, against Diana's uh, <clears throat> activism, <clears throat> there were no one who could even tell Diana, and the only one who support her was her mother-in-law, Elizabeth, and that's the truth. Whatever the media may say, it's the truth anyway, because. Well, okay, I'm ready to believe otherwise and what this snitchy, sketchy, famous paparazzi saying a lot, kind of. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm saying whatever fell was because of those paparazzi who were hunting her all the time. She died because of the paparazzi. And with that, she was living with, uh, yeah, I can remember that, in France, car crash, as you know, oh yeah, it was so sad. Okay, back again to Prince Harry, when both Harry and Meghan were actually married each other. As you know, there were no problem exactly, except for whatever pr Princess Meghan were maybe facing. But in the same time, I don't know if she was expecting it either. But I understand her complaints, of course, because that was the same scenario when it came to Diana. Except, I think there was sometimes a misunderstanding between each and any of them. But here's the thing. When it came to their baby, when the baby were born, okay, the only blessing it comes from was only few of them. How can I say this? The staff members and Elizabeth herself, the queen of course, were blessing the child. While the rest of the royals were maybe, I don't know, disappointed for something. More like they were against this kind of royalty. So they maybe showed their true faces why Elizabeth were the only one who were truth about how she felt for the child and for Meghan. She supported Harry too. However, even if there had been sometimes a trouble in the castle, of course, because of all this fight when it comes to the rest of the family, of course. Okay, as again, you may have heard otherwise in media, which is really normal, of course. And sometimes people are really annoying by changing or adding whatever. I you know, yeah, yeah. But okay, enough about that. As you know, Elizabeth is the kindest person who literally supports 
everyone on her size, whether whatever, whatsoever. Even if when it comes to the issue, when it comes to media, who literally can say a lot of things without to thinking twice. Why boost up the lies? Kind of. But okay, as I said earlier, this about Megan, that's another thing. Because we know exactly what happening and yeah. I feel sorry that the royal on the other hand were against Megan just because maybe she was black. That's what we maybe assume. But I can't put my finger if that was really real. But that's exactly what Megan maybe felt from. But the confirmation come even from Harry himself who loved Megan so much. So yeah, I maybe stay for whatever both of them were saying, but I saying not all royals were the same like those royals who were pointing at uh, Megan and her child, uh, both Harry and Megan's, Megan's child. And as you know, it have never been easy with all of it because of someone who maybe seems to be difficult than the other one. Again, before you maybe wonder why I care about that, well, don't assume that just because I say it, you will find out my own... Eh, race and community and religion and all of it no you won't know exactly because i hide my own race my own community my own um background or color or whatever you could actually take into of course not and it's not important for me no Whatever I, whatever for race I have, I keep it for myself. No one is supposed to know exactly what kind of race I belong, because I am a human being who literally want to be alone. That's exactly what I want to be. Anyway, that's all I got today. And comment when it comes to whatever... Uh, about, uh, well, that I may be told about. Uh, you can also criticize if I ever said something wrong, do it. I have no problem. I'm sorry if I maybe talk about my own size of what I know exactly. So correct me if I'm wrong, do it. It would be at least something for me. To understand if there is something I'm missing. So yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway I wish you a good luck. And thank you for everything. And before I going. I want also to mention. Oh wait. Hold on. No. Not in this clip. Especially when it comes to Elizabeth. Death. I won't exactly say it. I was thinking about my auntie. But no. I can't say it in this clip. If I wanted to say it, when I take it on my other video clip I'm going to do. So yeah, forget it. However, I wish you good luck and take easy and do not. Uh, well, it's up to you. If you want to give me a thumb up or thumb down, it's up to you.